Come with me on a journey as we decode your sleep study results. What do all those confusing numbers really mean? So let's say you had a sleep study, could have been in a lab or at home, and now you're staring at a report full of medical jargon numbers. There's things like AHI, SpO2, sleep efficiency, REM latency. Whew! Let's break all those things down. Put it in English, AHI, apnea hypopnea index. It's simply the number of times per hour that you stop breathing, an apnea, or have shallow breathing, a hypopnea. That's how we determine whether or not you have obstructive sleep apnea. SpO2, all that means is your oxygen saturation. It measures how much oxygen is in your blood during your sleep. Normal is above 90%. If it frequently drops below 88%, then it's a concern. Sleep efficiency. It's the percentage of time in bed that you're actually asleep. You want to have 85% or more sleep efficiency, otherwise you might need to address it. REM latency. The time it takes to reach REM sleep after falling asleep. Normally it happens 70 to 120 minutes after falling asleep. If that's not the case, it's something that we want to take a look at. So what should you do with all these numbers? Well, first, talk to your doctor. They'll interpret to you and they'll put it in context instead of just plain old numbers. Don't panic over one bad night. Sleep studies capture a snapshot, but your doctor looks at the bigger sleep patterns. Have you ever had a sleep study? Have you ever tried to read these numbers? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And please subscribe to the channel. You want to stop sleeping wrong.